In the previous video, we learned how we can fetch data in XJS. Unfortunately, in real-life scenarios, sometimes API requests takes a lot of time, especially if you're maybe uploading some huge image or you're downloading a huge list of data. So we want to show user a loader. We want to improve their user experience and tell them the application is working to complete their request. So today we're going to see how we can leverage Next.js and built-in features to improve our app experience using loaders. Go with Sloba. Okay, so this is the file that we have implemented in the previous tutorial. And here we have this uh, fetch request. So if I refresh our application, we don't see any loaders. Maybe our API is fast, but uh, anyways, we haven't implemented it yet. So let's see how we can add our loaders inside of the Next.js. So if you want to add loaders to this component, so inside of the component folder, you want to create a new file. And the naming is crucial here. So this file needs to be named as loading.js. Now we're going to get the error because we haven't returned anything from this component. How this works is whenever there's a request in this component, the next JS is going to return whatever we create inside of this file, instead of this. When the request gets completed, it's going to show this component instead of this one. So let's create a new uh, functional component. So I'm going to use uh, my shortcut. And here I can just, I can use this loading or what I can do as well, I can use the easy UI to add some spinners. So I can add class name and just add a class of loading like this. So now let's refresh our page and see if we can see anything. We cannot because uh, this API response is very fast. What we can do is we can add some delay and so that we are able to see. So what we can do is we can just add a new promise. So let's add a wait and create a new promise. And inside of this promise, we want to resolve it after a certain amount of time. So we're just going to use set timeout. And after, let's say, a couple of seconds, we want to resolve. So let's say two seconds or three, it doesn't matter. So now if I save this and let's do the refresh, we should get a spinner here. And as you can see, we get a spinner. And after three seconds or two seconds are completed, we get our component bar. So this is how you can implement loaders inside of Next.js. It's pretty simple and straightforward. And if you want to support my channel and get a full source code of every single video that I'm doing, feel free to check out patreon.com codewithsloba to get full access. See you there. Well, that's all for this video. And thanks for stopping by. And don't forget to subscribe. Code with Sloba. Thank you for watching the entire video. To see more videos like this, click here.